outside. Sad. We added some leaves to it to kind of tie into the dress. Uh -huh. And then she basically left a tail hanging down just to make it look really young and fun. Uh -huh. um, it's it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's it looks beautiful. it's just stunning, beautiful. really. And the barrel curls are done so neatly and so precise. No, I mean, no, it looks let me really ask you, how yes. long does it take? Because I mean, I see all this beauty. Well, coming, so you know what? We, we had a, you know we had a time everyone today. So we had everybody starting in at like 10:30 this morning. No. Yeah, and all of us that early. So everybody was like done in transitions. I wish we had time so we can show you the disc book. We had everybody in Bruno Salon and Spa t-shirts. And uh, we had fun taking pictures before and after, which they'll be all over the website, which is uh, brunosalonandspa.com. Okay. And, uh, and basically, um, we really had fun all day. It was, uh, was quite the experience. Them changing from t-shirts and jeans into their formal wear. Um, and basically, everyone got done in a timely fashion, and uh, everyone came beautiful. I mean, I'm really, really impressed. I see. I noticed that everybody yeah. looks very natural with the hair. Yes. I don't see any right. well, craziness going on besides me, but I don't see, you know, the hair is all is kind of conventional, right, and, right. and natural looking. What about, you know, the bleach? Well, you know what? That scares me a little bit. You know, when <laughs> we're doing um, highlights on virgin hair, like Peter's hair, for instance, uh -huh. I, can, I can highlight with a color. Right. Where, because in the science of hair color, color doesn't, uh, color doesn't lift color. Color will lift natural color. Okay. If, if you understand what I'm yeah, saying. So basically, if someone has their hair colored, like right. Sissy, if you came into me and your hair's already colored, yeah. I, can't, I can't really lift your color and give you highlights with color. It has to be done with bleach. There's different variations of bleach that we use. We use oil bases, uh, we use powder bleaches, we use light volume peroxides. So we're very, very conscientious about what we do when we highlight. Okay. You know, it's kind of like an evaluation that we do one-on-one. -on -one. We look at the texture of the hair that, that's, that maybe you've been going to different salons, bouncing from one to another. Okay. Most of my clients are consistent with me. They've been coming to me for years because I'm consistent. They and trust because you. They trust they me. Trust and you. you know what? The key to the success of being a successful uh, salon is having a team that always is conscientious about what we do and how we achieve right. beautiful hair. Right. If we're not going to let them leave with beautiful shiny hair, what's the sense of coming to us, you know? So yeah. I thought about shaving my head quite a few times, but hey. I, I can't wait to get my hands on you. Oh, I need a lot of work. I see all these girls and you see that, it's like, my, my hair is my big trauma. I'm not kidding. Right. Okay, it's like, it's, it's so hard because I had so many right. different colors. Right. And I think in women, the key is how you keep your hair looking natural. Yes. Right? And how you keep it alive. No, let me ask you, do you wash it every day? Do you have to wash? Give me a few beauty tips. Well, you know what? A lot of times what I tell the clients, and of course, you know, I'd like them to come every week because then they're, they're coming in for their color every week, but that's not the case, you know? You, you, you basically have to tell them, if you want your color to last, you can't wash your hair every day. Okay. A lot of times what we all decide to tell them is, rinse your hair with some conditioner. You don't have to actually use the, the shampoo itself. Oh, so so, okay. which is a key thing, because if you get to use the shampoo, um, you know, twice a week or two or, two or three times a week and alternate, depending on your scalp. Of course, if it's very oily, I understand, oh my God, you know, the, uh, people have uh, different situations with scents and stuff like that. But if you use the conditioner, you could still get the hydration in there and right. still not basically dehydrate the hair because the actual shampoo could sometimes doing it every day strips the hair of color right. doesn't allow the color to last especially if a woman has full gray hair right. and we're putting pigmentation into her roots she basically wants that color to last I mean she's coming every four weeks so you think about it and you say oh my god I just did my color three weeks ago right. but yet some some women are very conscientious about keeping their grays hidden and right. that's what makes it look natural Right. You know, it, that's the key. How you keep your hair looking nice. Right. And then products, as we were hey, talking products. about before. Right. You know, uh, we have some fantastic products from Goldwell. We have the Ultra Rich Shampoo and Condition, which is fantastic for hydrating the hair. It's great for heavier hair like Bianca and like Christy. Uh, for fine hair like Peter, we would use a volumizing hair. Uh, Volumizing shampoo and condition. Yourself, man. Perfection. I Perfection. He wakes up like that. It's yeah, just a you sick. wake up and you look this pretty. <laughs> I mean, come on, I'm upset about it. Look at these men. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare to blush. <laughs> you have to learn how to take a compliment. Life is too hard. <laughs> you can't
got a smile to that camera number one. You see, I'm trying to direct the show. This is what's going on today. Because I need to see what's happening with you guys out there. But you see this man, you see this hair? I mean, people would kill Bruno. Uh to have his hair. The, the hair, what about the body? I have to try to look like him. It's yeah, so I know. He's too, he's too, I, mean, well, I, mean, I mean, he does have 20 years on me, but that's another but thing. He's yeah. But he's yeah. beautiful. They're beautiful. <laughs> I, I want to hear my makeup artist. I want to yes. hear her out. Yeah. Let's talk about Jovi. And actually, her color is yes. pretty stunning tonight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Can, we get, can we get a little close-up? <laughs> can we just go back? And I just want to make sure that we have it. If we can get a little close-up with the makeup lady. Look at that beautiful... I, I want one of those shirts. Really? Yes, you got one. I got one? Where? Yes. As soon as we're off the set. Are you sure? You promise me? I'm not going to let you go I'm not. I promise. I promise. If you leave me that shirt. You're getting it. Well, there's the pink one and the dark one. There is. Maybe let me one. go back to over there to see if I, if I can get a tight <laughs> shot of this three women here. Can we get a tight shot? Can we make it happen? I'm just waiting for you guys to come over to get closer. I want her talking. So, Jody, you talk and you do whatever you got to do. How you make it work? How you make their face work? I want to explain that to me. Well, Nicole was very pretty, so there wasn't, you know, so much to do with her. But we started off with a foundation. Like, um, her skin is pretty porcelain, so we used a light foundation. Uh -huh. um, I'd like to use something that's sheer. My makeup, is, if everybody could see all the girls that we've done, I like that natural look. I don't like overdone. I like a little bit of dewiness. Uh -huh. I don't like that powdery, chalky foundation. Um, with her, we did because I usually try to find out what kind of event some you know someone's going to, uh -huh. and that will determine what kind of makeup we're going to do. Um, with her, she was going to a birthday party, so we want to do something just simple, soft. Um, she's wearing a spring outfit, so something a little springy. So we did put. Um, a little uh, light, shimmery, uh, like a pale pink on her eyes. And then we um, contoured it, contoured the eyes with a little bit of like a mauve, um, a deeper mauve on her eyes. And then we did a couple of lashes. Okay. I always love doing uh, individual you keep, lashes. You keep talking. You keep talking. Um, okay, there you go. You keep talking. Just You keep talking. I'm listening so to basically you. Basically, just a few lashes on the corners of the eye and a little bit of eyeliner. Um, I like cream blush because I think it keeps that fresh look. And a very soft, like a pale pink with a little bit of lip gloss. And she's good to go for the day. And we're also going to take care of her hair. Kathy actually put some, you know, actually, nice Greg thick Greg curl. Oh, actually, Greg did her hair. Um, so we're going to put a little bit of product in it. And okay. just basically just maybe run my fingers through it and a little bit of hairspray. And that's basically it. You know what it is that it, to me what it makes a difference, Ruth, is when you look natural. Yes, absolutely. You know, and it's like you don't want to be loaded with makeup, but hey, it depends on the occasion. If it's for the right guy, we want to look drop that <laughs> gorgeous. If we are in bed, hey, that's a different look, <laughs> right? Let's not be too quiet, girls. I mean, everybody's different. When you go to school, when you go to college, I mean, <laughs> sometimes I think that without makeup, I feel naked. It's true. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I don't know how you guys do it. I'm, you, Peter, are too... I don't want to talk about you because you're too pretty. You're way too pretty. Okay, but it's like, how do we overcome that fear? Oh, my God, I don't have any makeup. I don't want men to look at me. I want people to look at me because you feel like you're naked. Yeah, I think right? everybody needs a little bit of makeup. I don't <laughs> think do. anybody should walk out with just a bare face. First of all, just... It's not, it's not good for your skin, no, right? It, with the pollution in the environment, it's definitely good. Actually, makeup protects the skin. Uh -huh. And so many people say, I don't want to wear any makeup because I don't want to get pimples or... And it's actually wrong. I mean, just... It's better to wear just a little bit of, you know, foundation. And that's why I like that very sheer foundation. I don't like a heavy foundation and a lot of powders. And like how, it to look what about here? When you see, you see this, and sometimes I don't see it because this is perfect. This is flawless. But you see that women always have this problem. That you have a neck, one color, and my face, a different color. Yeah, yeah. so you definitely have so to So how sure. you want to blend it in yeah, slowly. That's, but that's one of the things that I'm really, really good at okay. is blending skin. Blending and, skin. And, you know, making sure that the color is right. Um, I, you know, I use my hand as a palette. Okay. And, you know, I try to just match the neck to the face. And I just try to keep it exactly the same color. Beautiful, beautiful. I just, I'm trying to get the opening shot. I'm trying to see, Bruno. You see what's going on yes, here? Yes, I'm seeing it. I'm, I, I want to finish, uh, Nicole, let's... Let's uh, run our fingers yeah, through we, her hair. Yes, we, we have so, time. Yes, because we want to see her show them 
uh, finished, so we can take a look. Do you want at to that. give you a hint? I guess you don't need me, right? I'm okay. actually going to use a little bit of the Moroccan oil. Okay. Um, you, you don't need my help. I guess not. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I want to sit my, you know, offer my services, but hey, if you guys are going to fire me, I go off the set. <laughs> I'm getting back. This is exciting. This is what you know. What this is what gets. Yeah. We got three minutes to go. I can't believe it. Yeah, boy, that went fast. Oh, look at that close-up. Yeah. Look at that face. Look at those women. <laughs> and look how gorgeous Nicole looks. Look I mean, how she's just gorgeous stunning. she looks. I mean, she's a mom, and she's just got that classic. She's a mom. She's a mom, and she's wow. got that sophisticated, real. Beautiful look for a woman. And even actually. if you're a mom, it's, you can look great. Yes. Yes, of and course. And that's why we wanted to have these variations. So you can see from a prom to a mom and uh, going to a first birthday. I'm just saying it's just, it's just great. Beauty is just a wonderful thing that uh, it's just something that we love to enhance and do. And it has to be part of your, your, uh, your passion. Yeah. And that's what we love to do. Make girls and I mean women and beautiful. men they come to you <laughs> like flies. I mean come Yeah. On. It's exciting. You know what? Uh, I've been very very lucky and uh, very fortunate to have such a wonderful staff. Gregory, Kathy, Jovi, uh, my spa um, technicians, uh, my assistants. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's a family, and it's that's what family. we're about. The salon is a family, and we've been together for a number of years, and we treat each other like family and our clients as well. And that's the key to being successful as a salon owner, is always making the clients feel welcome. Yeah, no, I, I, you see, my, my concern is, Bruno, oh, I trying to blend in with this beauty, <laughs> but I didn't even, I didn't even match, because you say, I said, they're going to be wearing nice dresses, and I said, oh, what the hell, Bruno. You know, it, it's... <laughs> oh, thank you, Chris, you're so sweet, <laughs> you're so nice. Oh, thank you. I mean, this is, I, I, we, need, we need more time. We need more time, because this is just why. We got what, two minutes to go, one minute to go. And this is what action in life is about. You see these beautiful girls? I mean, this is right here. You're in the money, baby. Thank you very you know much. And thank you so much for having us. I, absolutely. No, I, I, you know that I never had a pedicure done in my life? Really? You know what? I, never, I mean, done, never had a pedicure. You, know, you could have looked just as magnificent as these girls did today. I if you know, had been to me I, I this week. <laughs> I don't, I'm Bruno, yeah, now you, you see, now you have said, you have said because I didn't show up. You're but coming I'm, in next week, I'm I don't want to hear it. I'm going to come back next week. I'm just, I feel that it's been a little all over the place because I want to make sure that we get the camera shots the right way. We have a beautiful intern tonight helping us out tonight. Thank you for coming by and helping with the camera work. Luciano camera work. Camera number one, Benita Jones, Ginger Broderick, Danny, my boy. We pull it off. A little abruptly, but I guess that we pull it off. I have to go and see you next week. Thank you. You're, you're, you're in the book already. You're going to take care of my roots? Yes. Roots, highlights. Oh, man, you're You're doing me? a day of beauty. Massage, facial. Can I cut my hair short? <laughs> no, we're not going to cut you. Just going to trim it. We're no. not, we don't want to get rid of the hair. Oh, no. I want to go like you. I used to have no. my hair just like you. And I, I said, I want to get it short because I want to be short. I want to be free. Short is boring. Look at this long hair. Look what we can do with it. From ponytails I to know. up to... What about to wigs? <laughs> wigs? What about wigs, huh? Maybe we'll put a few wigs on and decide on what color you want first. Oh, yeah. I, I thought <laughs> the, black, the black color, but the black doesn't good. The it. black never comes out of the hair, so let's forget I that. know. It's so <laughs> hard because my cheekbones are so high that they say, if you're wearing black, forget it. It makes your cheekbones way too high. <laughs> it's not going to work. I think you should do hot pink. Happy? <laughs> yeah, you see, she got the answer. She's a little too quiet. Me? Yes, you, but I can't even bring the mic to you because you see, this is way too late. <laughs> let me squeeze myself in here. Let me, let me, I dropped. I will see you guys next week. Say hi, baby. This you is too Hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> you can say bye to, you know what you can do? Just say bye. Just say bye, bye. to all of us. Give me your bye. names. I mean, <laughs> don't be too shy. Look at that ring. Oh my God. <laughs> Is that a ring? That's for real? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, let me see. Are we, oh my god, this is heavy. <laughs> nice. Okay, guys, I will see you guys next week. I live we're still on. We have fun. A little rough. Uh, um, Bruno, I gotta tell you, I got my own taste. When I'm doing my show, I want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to have fun. You gotta go and check Bruno in Brooklyn. He is absolutely amazing. Thank you for coming Thank by, Bruno. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm happy now. Are we on? Are we on? Look at my hair. You see, every time I see my hair, and I see these girls here, I said, my God, how am I going to pull this off? How am I going to do it? Now, do I need extensions? 
no extensions. You just need to come to Bruno Salon and Spa in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. And get it done right. And, and get it done right. And with the makeup and stuff. <laughs> uh, makeup, work class, hair, work guys, work the color. Makeup as well. I'll take we care of you. All. You take care of me. We'll take care. No one leaves unhappy. Nobody leaves unhappy. No what about the tips? The people tipping you good, right? They really? always tip. Of course. The happier they are, the happier they tip. Of course they do. <laughs> I, I know. I mean, guys, I will see you next week. See you next week. Thank you for having fun. Thank you to my sponsors, Joe Santana. We missed you here. I hope I can see you next week. I hope so. Don't make me wait. <laughs> Charles Casano, Alex and Romero, my whole exquisite team. Thank you so much. We put it off, Bruno. I'm so happy you Thank came you. by, Thank baby. Thank you so much for having us. I'm so happy. I need my shirt. You got You're it. You're not leaving without me taking the shirt. Let's give, him, let's give him applause. Yes. And you're both happy. And Peter, he's a little too quiet. Of course. He's overconfident tonight. I tell you, man. I'm going to get the mic.